Hey, what's up, folks? It's your boy, BQ, on a fine Thursday afternoon. This is the Impact Lounge, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fan. It is YouTube month for the Impact Lounge. Obviously, you're watching on YouTube, but YouTube is the platform I will be focusing on all month. And the next subscriber goal is 5,500 subscribers. I think as I'm talking to you right now, we're about 47 short of that. So if you're watching for the first time, please consider becoming a subscriber and give this video a thumbs up as well. So the knockouts division is making a return, folks. And uh, PWI reported that Kimberly and Nevaeh are not currently under contract or signed to impact. Um, but one would believe, if you're, we're just kind of using common sense, that most likely, I mean, they are working out deals, but you know, most likely they're probably going to reach a deal. Um, this is a great opportunity for both of them. It's a great opportunity for them to both to, to work with their other halves, with Kimberly being engaged to Wentz and Nevaeh being married to Jay Chris. So uh, Kimberly is not a fan of BQ, I can tell you that right now. Um, but hopefully that's something I can fix later on down the line. But, you know, if they do bring her on board, uh, she looks to be in, in, in really good shape. Nevaeh uh, looks to be in great shape. She always is. If you take those two additions to the division and uh, Ky Kylie Ray, I mean, you're talking the the knockouts division has stepped out quite stepped up quite a bit. And it wasn't too long ago that I was saying, hey, there's a lot of knockouts who aren't really wrestling. They're not really in a wrestling role. They're just not wrestling much uh, for whatever reason. Now you add, you know, three girls who can go, and you can. You're also adding three girls who could become knockouts champion eventually, as opposed to the current roster where you're kind of like, okay, well, Jordan Grace and and um, Ty Valkyrie, and then aside from that, you're like, who could be knockouts champion? Um, you know, maybe Madison gets another reign. I, I would be surprised if Kiara Hogan didn't eventually hold it, but but the division is coming around really really nicely and I've always said this is the time to really strike with the women's division because no matter what WWE and NXT and AEW are doing Impact always has an opportunity to strike hard when it comes to the not to women's wrestling because that's something they know how to do and I think they still provide the the best place for women to come and and show their skills and obviously AEW struggling putting their division together I think Deanna Peraza will probably end up there because I think she's a good glue girl, you know, someone who can work with anybody. Um, but the the knockouts roster is starting to shape up really nicely, and then there's the rumor that they're bringing in a couple more. Even Josh said something on TV that there's going to be new knockouts showing up. So I think the only criticism I have is that I'd rather them, uh, you know, sign these girls first and then bring them on TV because we've seen in the past the Shotzi Blackhearts and you know, Deanna Perrazzo, as a matter of fact, we've seen girls, um, oh, there's another one. She was in the, uh, in that, um, that whatever Desperate Housewives, uh, is that, is that what's called? Desperate Housewives? Um, I don't think that's what it is, but the, uh, the Housewives segment with, um, uh, Rosemary and, oh God, I can't remember her name, Heather Monroe. So that's another one that's, you know, an indie star we've seen on screen a couple times and it's like, They'll be quick to say, oh, they're making their knockouts debut, but they're not really knockouts, you know? So it would be better for us as fans to know who's part of the roster, who's part of the show going forward instead of assuming or not knowing. Um, so, you know, I kind of wish if they're going to be part of the roster, it would have been nice if, you know, the business side got done first so then we could, you know, know whether to really get behind them and enjoy them. But these are these are good additions. And as I said, the, it, these are women who can hold the knockouts championship. A lot of people are calling for Lufisto to be the next one. She's kind of openly campaigned. She's in really, really good shape right now. And she's a, a great hand and someone, again, who could probably be the knockouts champion. So um, the last point I'm going to make, I've said this you know, many times over the years, is that when, when Impact brings in girls who don't really have much of a buzz or name on the indies, um, they've struggled how to incorporate them into the show. But the ones who come on, come on and they've already got their name, they've got their gimmick, uh, those are the ones that they know how to work with very well. So you're talking about three girls here that I think we're, it's going to be sky's the limit for them. I think they're just, the division's going to be great. 
we're going to get some good wrestling here uh, very soon with the knockouts, and I'm, I'm really excited about it. So um, hopefully we get, you know, it's in stone that these guys are signed soon. Uh, Kimberly has a video on, on Impact, uh, I think it was on the Facebook, where she, you know, she's like, I'm finally here at Impact Wrestling, and it was a, it was a really good promo. So it's like, these girls know how to talk. They're just going to be excellent freaking additions. And, you know, we don't know what's going on with Sue Young quite yet. You know, one would believe maybe she is gone if they're bringing in so many names. But, you know, we'll see. Um, there's there's a few more I still really want to see them bring aboard. But uh, we'll see if it happens. Thanks for swinging by at the lounge. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And again, if it's your first time here, please subscribe because it is YouTube month at the Impact Lounge. Talk to you soon. Peace.